Can everybody please take a moment to look around this evening? I want you all to know that everything in this room was completely my idea. <laughs> From the moment I met you that night at Market Grounds, I knew you were someone special. That's why I didn't hesitate to contact you the next day. Now I'm sure that you all know that Melissa is a pocket rocket who packs a lot into her small stature. She's kind, passionate, funny, loud, a little bit ditzy and hugely neurotic. All the things I love about her, obviously. I couldn't ask for a better gal pal to be my best friend. So naturally, when Mel rang me to tell me about the guy that she ditched Jasmine and I for a few weeks before at Market Grounds, I was feeling very protective. It was gonna take some, someone pretty fabulous to be good enough for my friend. When I put two and two together and realised I knew who Valeria was from Ministry of Sound days, <laughs> I straight away thought, oh God, that's not a good match. He's a bum bag wearing festival going juice head. Mel reassured me that he was actually really nice. I think her exact words were, he's actually really dorky and he likes cats. So when the time came for me to meet and judge Valerio, I realised that she wasn't lying. This six foot lanky guy was in fact an awkward dork who liked cats and played a lot of video games. Basically, he was a male version of Mel. Perfect. Bit of background, I've known Valero for well over 20 years. Um, we actually went to the same primary school, two years apart. He was in the same year as my brother and sister. Our mums became friends, then our dads. Um, and I wasn't really given a choice, was I? I can't believe 20 years ago we were sat there online as kids playing Cotton Fever together. Um, and here we are today, playing Cotton Fever together. <laughs> that, that's it from me. Um, I just want to wish Valeria and Melissa countless years of happiness together. You two are perfect. Cheers. Melissa and I wouldn't be the people we are today if it wasn't for our parents. If you tell Carla you really enjoyed that Mars bar, he will then go to the shop and buy 50 of them. Valerio, they're not Mars bars, they used to be Kit Kats, and they don't come in 50s, they come in 48s or 72s. <laughs> We've been blessed to have a daughter like the noob in our lives. She's kind, intelligent, and always puts others before herself, except where there's a birthday party involved. Over the past 28 years, we felt fortunate to have the best seat in the house, watching her grow up and become the amazing woman she is today, and we love her with all our heart. We're delighted that Noob has found someone like Valerio to share her life with. I can see he dotes on her with great affection and has already been trained to take her photos for her social media posts. He's got a great work ethic and shares pride in the house with the Noob. I congratulate Carlo and Camilla for raising a fine young gentleman. Oh look, my nonna's crying. I've never seen that before. I love you, nonna. I love you, darling. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Well, anyway, as, a, as your dad, I couldn't be more proud. I have uh, had the unbelievable pleasure of watching you uh, grow from a little boy into an honourable, hum humble and loving young man. Every day you amaze me. The love that lives inside your soul inspires me and the energy and zest for life keep me feeling young. Uh, Melissa, you are, you are an inspiration to our family and I've seen how you care for others and your generosity and overwhelming smile. You're always cheerful and full of respect. I remember the first time Valerio introduced me to you and I thought to myself, hmm, yeah, this is the right girl for Valerio. And here we are tonight, I got it right. I would like to formally welcome Melissa into the family, even though you have been part of it for a good while now. Nobody in this world can love Valerio quite like you do, Melissa. You seem to have brought out the best in Valerio. You make him so happy, and for that I am eternally grateful. We are glad that you are part of our family, and I'm proud to have you as a daughter. May you both live as long as you like and have all that you need for as long as you live. Cheers to a life of love, prosperity, and happiness. I think it's not hard to see 
The brave, bold, hilarious Mel is an infectious ball of love, light and energy. Mel, you're not just my sister, you're the bestest year to Adria and friend. And even though you don't get to choose your siblings, I would choose you as my sister in every lifetime in the end. Valerio, it's been such a pleasure to get to know you and we welcome you to our family with open arms. You're a man as kind as he is tall, and that says something because we're a family of short people. In the end, all we ask is that you love her like mum, dad and I do and continue to look out for her as our little noobster now shares her life with you. To the bride and groom, Melissa and Valerio Rosso, I wish you forever love on this, your wedding day. Thank you. If I had my way, baby, I could do to stay. Baby, don't go, come and get close while the night is young. Melly, we've been through shitty friends and beautiful memories, but you and I still remain. I'm so very honoured to stand by your side on the most special day of your life. I love you, Bessie. You truly deserve the absolute world. And Valerio, I thank you for making my best friend so very happy and for putting up with her crazy ways. And I hope Mel always makes you as happy as you make her. May you both have many, many years of laughter, love and annoying the crap out of each other. To the new Mr and Mrs Rosso. Cheers. Hi Valerio, take you, Melissa, to be my wife. I'm Melissa, take you, Valerio, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honour you. For all the days of my life. For the days of my life. And now, pronounce your husband and wife. Valerio, you may kiss your bride. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm so excited as to, as to what the future holds for us and I can't wait for the day we start our own little family together. Can you all please raise a glass to toast the family, friends and my wife. I cried. I actually cried. It was tough. I couldn't do it. <laughs>